So this video tutorial is all part of a longer series. Now in the previous video, we created this motion path on the ship landing. Now let's kind of build up the scenery around it. Now I already pre-created the background. We did this all on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. If we go file import, nope, sorry, file link. So I want to link to my model that I've already created. Now that's so I, now that's so the file doesn't come into the scene, but rather the scene is being referenced back to the other blend file. Now this is handy as well if I need to make a global update to this scene. I can do a global update and it'll go out to every other blend file that uses it as a reference. So we've just gone into the set remote workshop. Let's go into collection and I've saved it all as a remote outpost. So let's go link. And you can see that the ship is definitely not in the right spot. And for those of you who remember, this is what I'm talking about right now. So let's go ahead and fix it up. I want to go G. What I do want to do is I'm actually going to rotate the ship. So it actually comes in like so. And then we can get a cool shot of the actual um, hangar bay here. So let's just make sure it's sitting on the ground uh, like so. I'm just going to move it down a smidgen. There we go. So we can see that the pads here are just touching the ground. Are they maybe a, maybe a little bit more? Beautiful, something like that. So now um, without doing anything, I am just going to press render. Let's have a quick look what it looks like. And I reckon that does look gorgeous. However, the rocks in the background, I haven't actually extended the scene all the way around. So let's fix that. I'm going to rotate it around a bit, the scene, and, and we're just going to move it over like so. And now the camera can still see it. Dang it. How far do we have to go? It's somewhere around there, I reckon. And then we'll plop it about there. And I think that'll look good. Let's just do a quick render. Perfect. But I do want a bit more of the building in. So that's a bit better. Uh, we could probably fudge it a smidgen. For some reason, the camera moves. So let's fix that up. And what I'm actually going to do is how about maybe at this point here, we just point it more into the building. <laughs> Rotation. Just fudge it. Why not? I rotation. That's a little bit too extreme, that one. So maybe just ever so slightly move it up like that. Yeah, there we go. That looks really nice. So it actually does look like someone's holding the camera as it's coming in. Beautiful. And then we've got this nice, just a small touch of that towel. Let's do a still an F12 and have a look. Perfect. Love it. Great. And so there we go. We've built in that scene. Now, the other thing I want to do is actually bring in a character and have him sitting in the co -pi in the pilot seat because at the moment, it looks kind of stupid without a pilot. I can speak. And also, I just noticed that there is a tube here. So what I need to do is actually go have a look at that previous file. So let's go file open recent and hopefully it's in here. It was set something, set remote workshop. And we want to move this cable here. Lucky for me that it was just a Bezier curve. And so it's going to make my life a lot easier moving it. Excellent. Let's just do a control S to save. The other thing I noticed as well is we've got a nice big bright light in here. I want to get rid of that light. I want it a little bit darker in here. Now I'm going to jump over into my characters file as well. So let's go file open recent. Now this is from my web series that I'm currently developing. We want the older chap, which is Quill. And this guy has a full animation attached to him. So for this file, save as. I'm just going to create a T pose. Just save that file, select everything, delete. We're going to go into pose mode, select all, Alt R, Alt G, and then save that. Now for this, I need to link that character. So let's go file link. 
Quill T-Pose collection Quill animation. We'll link that character. Now I can't actually do anything with him. I can't animate him or anything um, because he is linked, which is a little bit annoying. But what we can do is come up into our collection. Quill animation is our guy. Right click, library override, make, selected and content. And now our chap should be somewhere. Where are you, man? Oh, there you are. Hey. From here, I'm just going to apply a rig. Now, this is all part of... Now, this character is from Character Creator 4. And I'm just going to use the Blender add-on to quickly rig him. Which is interesting because I can't. Because, because he's a linked character. How interesting. And I had a ton of problems. So I ended up just deleting the rig and recreating the character again. But this time adding the Rigify rig on, I can speak. Now let's go right click, library override, make selected content. Now I can select this and we go into pose mode and everything works, yes. Okay, so I know that he sits here. His bottom's going to sit something like that. Let's just give him a bit of a rotation and he looks mighty comfy. Let's move him over now into actually one of the seats. So what do we got about here-ish, I reckon? Yep, that's looking pretty good. Um, you are right-handed, because I'm right-handed, so I'll make you right-handed, buddy. And then we know that we've got kind of like a... Um, joystick? Joystick. There we go. Something like that. And we're just kind of like smashing out this pose. Rotate ZZ. Nope. Rotate XX. Just around like that. Let's just get rid of this windshield so I can actually have a see what his hand is looking like. Pose mode. Rotate XX. We just fix up his hand. And I'm not going to be too concerned because it is a bit of a minute detail. So probably not going to see his finger anywhere. Um, but what we will do is make sure we bring his shoulder forwards and also down. Now, we'll make him lean a little bit forward. And for this hand, I reckon we might just try and keep him, his hand so it's kind of like that. And then we'll tilt his head forward so he's kind of like looking around and then what we can do is put the ship back <laughs> make sure we go into object mode and with this armature selected we're going to select the other one Control p to parent keep transformation and so now please take off with the ship see you later beautiful uh, that one we can get rid of nope and now in pose mode, we can camera view. So maybe he's like looking around. I'm going to do I for a rotation. I for a rotation. I'm just going to auto keyframe this. And then from here, we're not going to see him. So he's kind of like looking down. You move your head way too slow, mate. You have to remember, we're going to have glass there, so we're probably not really going to see much. And then you can just, you know, have a look around and everything. Beautiful. Maybe we'll uh, give him a little bit of a uh, body movement as well, because, you know, it's a bit jittery. And then you can just sit back and chillax, mate. Actually, no, you're facing the wrong way. Let's go this way. There we go. So as he's coming in, he's like leaning around a little bit. It's getting jolted. I think we could probably just really add in as many keyframes as we want. Because this landing is pretty rough. And then that kind of gives us that arm movement already. Oh, yeah. Sick. Let's do an alt H. Control S to save. 
into object mode. So let's go into Alt H now. Control S to save. F12. Awesome. Brilliant. Looking good. I hate that. I hate this. So I don't want this ground to be here. So let's just kind of give the camera a little bit more zoomish. There we go. And then that'll hide the ground. So we're not looking at the ground. Yeah, nice. I'm happy with that. This pipe though, I'm gonna fix that before I forget. 